hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create form for facebook messenger web view okay go to messenger bot you can see web form builder click on action button from here you can create form uh, that user can submit this form inside messenger now click on create new form give a name like this you need to select a page okay i am selecting this page now here you can see assign level this level is for uh, segmenting your subscriber so anybody submit this form this specific form if you select uh, level form here then he will be added into this uh, level and it will help you to segment your uh, subscriber in future okay now here is the reply template you need to create reply template from postback manager i have already created a, a reply template from postback manager you can see okay thanks for submitting your order we will contact you as soon as possible uh, like this okay now select uh, this one now there is different type of input field you can see header this is just header like this okay now you can select uh, radio group like uh, short pant shoot okay change this and here is the input field name you should also change this input field name product type like this okay then close close it now select another radio group also you can change this level also click on edit button select size small okay then you can select text uh, text fill also you can set uh, dead field okay now close it now you need to uh, put a submit button okay and here is different style you can select uh, from here
then click on save button okay the form has been created successfully now you can see demo cloud uh, order form and here you can see the uh, view form when you click on it it will redirect a form okay you can see from here this is the form and you need to uh, copy this url okay uh, you must uh, copy the url with https so copy this url now let me show you how to uh, add this web view inside messenger now go to messenger bot okay bot settings and uh, for this example just i am setting a keyword based uh, reply with this uh, web view like cloth okay then plots select text with button and please click on the below button and fill up the form uh, to submit your order like this then bottom and you need to select uh, web view there are uh, three type of uh, web view web view compact tall and full this is actually size uh, now i am selecting full and putting this url here okay this is the url of this form you need to put this url of this url of this form okay another thing you need to make sure that whenever you create a web view and when you select a page then you need to put uh, that web view for that specific page otherwise if you put uh, other page it may not uh, give uh, reply after submitting the form okay now click on submit button then okay go to my page to check how it is working click on send message writing clothes it will uh, give message hi connor please click on the below button and fill up the form to submit your order okay now when i click on set order you can see here is the form okay please give this information like select shirt okay size medium uh, phone number 012 like this okay then which date you want to want delivery okay you can select date from here okay then click on submit order okay now we can see also the reply is given by the board thanks for submitting your order we will contact you as soon as possible okay now come here in the web view here you can see total uh, form submitted on and when you click this view form details you can see the subscriber information who uh, submit this form here you can see konok jaman and this is the subscriber id and also under action menu you can see view form data okay now you can see this is the form name this is form id and submit date and here is the all data he submitted like product product type chart okay size medium phone number 
and delivery date this is the delivery date okay so this is how you can create your form with webview builder and use it inside the messenger to collect information from your user okay in the next video i will also show you how to uh, send this information to any third party uh, application or any of or any of your custom script okay with json api so that way when user submit uh, the form the data will be sent to your uh, custom webhook and you can process this data um, as whatever you want okay so thank you see in the next video